what is your relationship with fear and how do you transcend fear? Interesting. I don't think I've ever really thought about fear um, as such. I think it's probably more... Fear translates, I think, quite often to anxiety. Yes. Um, the trick for me is being able to turn that fear or anxiety into some type of positive energy. So you can go two ways with that, mm -hmm. right? And, and they always say, you know, that um, if you can translate that and use it externally and turn it into good, um, you can turn it into positive energy. So that's that's always my focus. The, the danger with fear is that it turns you into this kind of paralysis. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the thing that I'm always conscious of, which is that whether or not you're in a position where you're not making decisions. Because there's nothing worse than not making a decision. You know, I mean, a wrong decision is better than no decision. And yeah. I think fear sometimes lends itself to people, including myself, sometimes not making a decision. Yes. I think you've got to make sure that you find that with all your might. You're better to make a some, yeah. some decision, any decision, uh, and make sure that it's not just fear where you sort of sit in the headlights and then wait for another <laughs> month to see what what else is going to come through before you make a call. 